The Ring Stick Up Cam 3rd Gen now has a pan and tilt mount. And now you'll be able to manually pan and tilt the camera. Hello guys, Lifehackster here. Today we'll check out the new pan and tilt mount accessory for the Ring Stick Up Cam. Take note though, this mount is only for the 3rd generation stick up cam. So if you have the 2nd gen battery or wired or if you have the indoor cam, this mount will not work. Also, there are several variations on this depending on what setup you currently have for your stick up cam. And this accessory needs to be plugged in. It cannot be battery powered. So if you have a battery powered stick up cam, then you need to get the power adapter cable for it. And I suggest just getting the indoor outdoor power cable for the extra $10. And you have an option to plug it in outside and also inside. The power cable is modular and what you get if you just choose the indoor version is the barrel plug to the adapter which is about 8 feet long. And has the plug attachment that you can remove and you can attach the outdoor extension part which lengthens it to another 15 feet. And if you have the wired stick up cam 3rd gen, then you already have this power cable. And you can just buy the pan and tilt mount. You can also purchase this pan and tilt mount bundled with a stick up cam wired, which is cheaper than if you purchase them separately. So we will do a quick unboxing, set it up, and see if this pan and tilt mount can be added to your ring security camera system. But before that, if you find this video and my other videos helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't done it yet. And click the bell notification so as to get notified when I upload videos like this one. Thank you. You'll be able to control from the app the camera spanning which has a 340 degree rotation and tilt of up to 60 degrees. It is weather resistant so you can install this outdoors. It just comes in a gray box and just labeled pan and tilt mount in different languages. Inside you have the mount itself and you can see it uses a dummy battery to connect it to the 3rd gen stick up cam. Everything is made of plastic and the same material that Ring uses on their stick up cam. On the back we have a plug in port for power. On the bottom we have the security screw holes for when installed with a wall mount. And we have the wall mount bracket which is on a tilt down position and we will see how it is installed later on. What else is inside the box? We have the mounting screws and plastic anchors. We have a couple of rubber plugs to plug into the ports on the camera. And lastly, we have the user guide. Time to set this up. So I have my stick up cam which I originally bought it as a plug in version. But I've used it as battery powered. First, I have to unscrew the mount and remove the battery cover. And remove the battery. Then I'll just slide in the dummy battery portion of the mount to the camera. Align the lock guide and turn to lock it in place. Now we have the camera power port and the mount hole that we need to cover with the rubber plugs. And they are different so use the one with a small knob on the power port and the other one on the quarter 20 thread mount. Now time to power this up. Plug the power into the mount's port. Wait until the camera boots up and we'll do a self check panning and tilting. Open up the ring app. And it will prompt you that your stick up cam is now plugged in and you can change the camera mode to wired. Which it will have wired features like using camera based detection instead of the PIR sensor and also you will get pre-roll or pre-recording. And because you change the modes, you have to go through the camera setup again. So just follow the prompts until the camera is connected. And now you have to set up the pan and tilt mount. Click continue and you will need to set your home position. And this is the position that the camera will default to after you use the pan and tilt. It will do its calibration and use the arrows to get the camera to the position that you want and click save. This camera aside from mounting it in a shelf indoors, you can use the wall mount to install it outside. Screw in the wall bracket using the two included screws. Route the power cable in the hole in the bracket and plug in the power to the camera. Align the camera to the bracket and turn clockwise to lock it in place. On the bottom, use the included small machine screws to screw in the camera unit to the wall bracket. The basic and only function of the pan and tilt mount for the 3rd gen stick up cam is when you go to live view. You can click the rotate icon to be able to pan the camera 340 degrees and tilt it 60 degrees manually by using the arrows on the app. There's no motion tracking, no auto scan, no other preset positions aside from the home position. I'm really hoping that Ring can add these options in the near future. For indoor use, this combination will be no match to a lot of other cameras that have a dedicated pan and tilt model. Like the Eufy Pan and Tilt Indoor or the Eufy Indoor Cam Mini, the Wisecam Pan, Reolinks and a lot more. And they're way more cheaper than Ring's. For outside use though, this can be an option. But you do have to wire and plug this in. 
which probably a lot of you that have the stick-up cam use battery for power. Which ring should have designed this mount to be powered by the camera's batteries? And this could have been a way better offering because there are not a lot of pan and tilt security cameras that are battery powered. Anyways, what do y'all think? Any questions? Comment down below. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one. By the way, for ring camera users, you have the... Hi, you are currently being recorded. You have now have the motion warning feature on your ring cameras. And even my older four-year-old ring spotlight cam wired has it. And also the ring stick-up cam.